it's past midnight and the mask is shouting now. Thank you, mask. Give people some sleep, please. It's already like 15 minutes and they still didn't stop. And it doesn't sound like they're gonna stop soon. Bop, 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 bop. We're starting speaking in Polish and somewhere in the meantime I will switch to English. Dzień dobry, witam was serdecznie w kolejnym vlogu. E, w sumie już nie taki dobry, bo jest godzina trzecia. Jest wtorek i za 4 godziny mamy autobus do Bułgarii. I udajemy się do Polski, jutro rano będziemy w Rzeszowie. Spakowaliśmy się i właściwie jesteśmy gotowi. Musimy jeszcze załatwić małą sprawę w centrum handlowym. Ale przygotowane są walizki, nasze rzeczy. Więc w tym miejscu... Zaczynamy przygodę! Do Polski! Zapraszam! Kapka i drogę! We have two luggages like that. I love traveling, but the most hateful part of all of it is carrying bags. That's why we are ordering taxi. And I forgot my cap, my new cap from the house. We printed boarding passes. So the next stop we are going to Levent. We came to the bus station and we have 20 more minutes to go and hopefully in 9 plus 5 14 hours will be in Poland. I don't know where exactly we are because I couldn't find it on the phone finally, but it looks like the very very disgusting part of Istanbul. I hate, I really hate the bus stations because in most of the cities they are very disgusting, they suck. It doesn't matter if it's Turkey, Budapest, Prague or Poland. In Poland also, uh, most of the bus station uh, bus stations suck so so much and it's the same here No to wyjechaliśmy sobie z dworca autobusowego i opuszczamy Stambuł o, ale oczywiście utnęliśmy w korku na parę, na parę chwil więc pewnie zobaczymy się dopiero w Bułgarii więc widzimy się w Bułgarii jesteśmy w Bułgarii Bulgaria. I have the keychain of Bashak name. You're taking five lira. Yeah, it's been like three hours more or less, and we have five more. Depends on the border. Four or five hours, but the border is far, far away. Bulgaria. Hello, guys. We are in Bulgaria, in Burgas now, seven hours later actually, it's 3.15 and we are at the airport, we have to wait another four hours, in four hours is our flight to Rzeszów. The airport, the airport itself is much better than I expected because I thought it's gonna be old and somehow similar to the one from London Stansted or London Luton which are very very old. This one looks nice, at least it's warm. In six hours we are in my home. Yay. It was such a hard passport and checking control, like, tell what happened. Because I'm Turkish, <laughs> they don't know my passport, so they're asking a lot of people, oh, how does this work? Where is your residence permit? Where is your residence card? I'm like, I don't need one. I have green passport, it's special passport. I don't need one. Uh, he, she needs to ask someone, then we wait 20 minutes and, blah, blah, blah. and then on the passport control again I'm pissed Yeah And I'm for me 2 minutes and it's done So we are officially in Poland it's 8 and we came through the passport control. We are so fucking tired already. We are 24 hours 
all the time when I was sleeping. But the perk of coming to, to Rzeszów is that my father can come for me in 10 minutes. So I already called him. We're gonna take some sleep and meet with my parents finally. I like it. Luggage is stopped. Of course mine is not here. All the problems are mine. We took our luggage and where is my father now? He should be somewhere here. Oh, he's there, he's there. And the weather sucks so much, it's raining. Here we are, my home. We're coming to my home. Get in, get in, get in. We came home. My home. My mom is So here I am, we took some little rest, we slept for a couple of hours, we ate our breakfast, uh, got used to the house, to the flat, and I'm going to the doctor now. It's a busy day, but I need to manage so many stuff before going to Gdynia, because only we have only today, and tomorrow... To whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, I haven't been driving a car for the last two and a half months. This is so amazing feeling to drive a car again. And this car is lovely. And this car is lovely. In Poland, if you want to go to the special doctor, to the specialist, first you need to go to this regular doctor, first contact doctor, to get from him her the special document which allows you to go to the other one. Now, the problem is that usually if you're going to this first contact do doctor, you need to wait a while in a queue, usually like an hour. Polish songs! Oh! Part of Stellar! Man! I'll see you in a couple of minutes. It took me 30 minutes to wait for the doctor and visitation was like three or even less. But, but, but. 